In this episode, we focus on the boxing career of one of the great bare-knuckle fighters and boxing teachers. How good was Professor Mike Donovan? Michael A. Donovan was born on September 27, 1847, in Chicago, Illinois. Donovan stood 5 feet 8 inches with a 67-inch reach. He had an aggregate weight of 148 pounds for his career. Donovan's career spanned from 1878 to 1897. He had six wins, one loss, and four draws. One of his victories was by knockout. He also had two no contests. He had a winning percentage of 46 and a knockout percentage of 8. Donovan is most associated with the middleweight division, though he often weighed about as much as a welterweight. Mike Donovan was one of the early high-level scientific boxers. What he lacked in power, he made up for in sheer skill. He would use the same skill to become one of boxing's great teachers. While he only had 13 bouts under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, he fought several other fights without gloves and made a name as one of the great pugilists of his time. Donovan's first boxing contest under the Marquess of Queensbury rules was a high-stakes matchup with William C. McClellan for the American middleweight title on April 6, 1878. Throughout the contest, Donovan was getting the better of McClellan, though he had to be warned several times for hitting on the break. Inside clinching and hitting were commonplace in the bare-knuckle world, along with other rule-bending tactics. In the 16th round of the contest, after the referee called for a break, Donovan let off three consecutive shots on a defenseless McClellan who had dropped his guard. This forced the referee to step in and disqualify Donovan on the spot. Donovan would get the opportunity to right the ship in his very next fight on May 18, 1878, as he and McClellan would have a return bout. The first round was very close, with both men looking sharp. By the third round, Donovan started to take control as he forced McClellan on the back foot and against the ropes throughout the round. Donovan also opened up a cut near McClellan's right eye. Donovan dropped McClellan with a hard shot to the head in the fifth round. At the end of the seventh round, a corner chair McClellan was using remained in the ring, and as the fight commenced, Donovan forced McClellan back into his corner into a seated position on the chair and struck him while seated. McClellan and his team cried foul, and McClellan took off his gloves and left the ring. The referee tried to get McClellan back into the ring to restart the fight, but he refused and was disqualified, handing Donovan the victory. On January 15, 1886, Donovan would meet up with a fighter regarded as one of the best fighters during the era, nonpareil Jack Dempsey. This fight was widely reported as an exhibition and is thus listed as a no contest on his record. Donovan would rematch Dempsey on November 15, 1888. The bout was scheduled for six rounds, and Dempsey came unbeaten in 57 bouts. Donovan started fast and on the front foot to open the bout. Both focused on bodywork through the first half of the fight. The bout was fought at a quick pace, and both fighters put on brilliant displays of the scientific side of the sport. Donovan drew the first blood of the match with a straight left to Dempsey's nose early in the sixth and final round. The bout was fought evenly for the remainder of the round, and in the end, the bout was declared a draw by the referee. Many in attendance felt that Donovan had done enough to win. Donovan would face McClellan for the third and final time on May 4, 1891. Donovan needed less than 40 seconds to knock McClellan out in the first round to close the chapter on the rivalry. Donovan would close out his career with a two-fight run against legendary bare-knuckler turned boxer, Jim Mace, of the United Kingdom. These fights were more exhibitions, and both ended in draws. The first fight took place on December 14, 1896, and Donovan was 49 years old while Mace was 65. The second match took place in September of 1897. Both matches had more banter than punches thrown as the two legendary fighters went out on a high note. Professor Mike Donovan continued in the sport as a trainer for several fighters. What he was able to bring to the sport from an instructional perspective may have had a more significant impact on what he did in the ring. 
He was a critical figure in many high-profile fights, including being in the corner of gentleman Jim Corbett in his undisputed world championship victory over the Boston strongboy John L. Sullivan in 1892. Donovan faced two Hall of Famers. His most notable fights were against Hall of Famer Nonpareil Jack Dempsey, Hall of Famer Jem Mace, and William C. McClellan. Professor Mike Donovan died on March 24, 1918, at 70. Donovan's name doesn't ring many bells these days, but he played a significant role in boxing and the development of boxers in the late 1800s. His teachings essentially stood the test of time. Professor Mike Donovan was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1998.